Hello everyone, welcome back. This video shows you how to crochet a sling bag using granny stripe stitch. The materials required are 4 ply acrylic yarn, any 3 colors, 75 grams each, 4 mm crochet hook, button, stitch markers, scissors and a blunt needle. Let's begin our project by making a slip knot. Now we have completed our slip knot. Work chain 38. Now we have completed our chain 38. For the next round, we are going to work one half double crochet into the third chain from the hook. So one, two, and three. In the third chain, we are going to work one half double crochet. So yarn over, insert the hook into the third chain, grab the yarn, pull through the chain, three loops in the hook, come out of all three loops. So this will be our first half double crochet, place marker in the top of the half double crochet, continue working one half double crochet into the next 34 stitches. Now we have completed working our 34 half double crochet and into the last stitch we are going to increase so we are going to work 3 half double crochet into the first half double crochet place a marker Turn the work. In the other side, we are going to work into the loops and work one half double crochet into the next 34 loops. So this will be our first loop. Like this, continue working until you reach 34 loops. Now we have completed working one half double crochet in 34 loops. There will be one loop left over. We are going to increase in that loop. So work two half double crochet into the last loop. After increasing, we are going to place marker in the first half double crochet. After placing the marker, we are going to slip stitch. So move on to the next marker, remove the marker and make a slip stitch. So now we have completed our round one. In the end of the round one, there will be 74 half double crochet for the next round we are going to start with the chain 2 and into the same chain space we are going to work 2 half double crochet after completing 2 half double crochet we are going to place the marker in the very first half double crochet After placing the marker, we are going to work one half double crochet into the next 34 stitches.
Now we have completed working our 34 half double crochet. Remove the marker. Here we are going to work an increase. So into the next 3 stitches we are going to work 2 half double crochet. So 1 and 2nd half double crochet into the same stitch. And into the 2nd stitch we are going to increase 1 half double crochet. And the 2nd one. And we are going to increase in the 3rd chain. 1st double crochet. And 2nd half double crochet. After increasing from the next chain we are going to work one half double crochet so work one half double crochet into the next 34 stitches Now we have completed working our 34 half double crochet and into the next 2 stitches we are going to work an increase. So remove the marker and work 2 half double crochet. And again work 2 half double crochet into the next stitch. After increasing, remove the marker and work a slip stitch. In the end of the round 2, we will get 80 stitches. For the next round, we are going to work chain 2 and into the same chain space, work one half double crochet into the back loop of same chain space and place the marker in top of the half double crochet. Work one half double crochet into the back loop of next stitch and again work one half double crochet into the back loop of the next stitch. Like this continue working one half double crochet until you reach the 79th stitch. Now we have completed working our half double crochet in back loop. Remove marker and work a slip stitch. For the round 4, work chain 3 and 2 DC into the same chain space. And place marker in the top of the chain 3. After placing the marker, work chain 1. Now we are going to skip 3 chains. So 1, 2 and 3. Into the 4th chain, we are going to work 3 DC. So into the same chain space, we are going to work 3 DC. So 2nd DC and the 3rd one. After completing 3 DC, we are going to work a chain 1. And again we are going to skip 3 chains and into the 4th chain we are going to work 3 DC. After completing 3 DC we are going to work a chain 1. Skip 3 chains below 1, 2 and 3 and into the 4th chain we are going to work 3 DC. Continue the same pattern throughout the round 4. Pause the video, continue working. I will be meeting you in the end of the round 4.
Now we are in the end of the round 4. Remove marker and we are going to work a slip stitch with the new color yarn. For the round 5, we are going to work a chain 3. After working chain 3, into the chain on space near, we are going to work 2 DC. So in chain on space, we are going to work 2 DC. In this round, we are going to work in chain on space. After completing 2 DC, we are going to make a chain 1. In next chain on space, again we are going to work 3 DC. Again, work chain 1. And skip 3 stitches below and into the next chain on space we are going to work 3 DC. Like this continue the same pattern throughout the end of round 5. Pause the video, continue working. I will be meeting you in the end of the round 5. Now we are in the end of the round 5. Again we are going to slip stitch by adding the new color yarn. Pull the yarn through the two chains. So slip stitch with the new color yarn. For the round 6, work chain 3 and into the chain on space we are going to work 2 double crochet. After completing 2 DC, make a chain 1. Skip 3 chains below and into the next chain on space we are going to work 3 DC. After completing 3 DC again work chain 1 and skip 3 chains below and into the next chain on space again work 3 DC. Continue working. The same pattern throughout the round 6. Now we are in the end of the round 6. Here we are not going to add any new color yarn. Just take the grey color yarn and make a slip stitch. Like this for the next 2 rows. And we are going to slip stitch using the alternative colors. And work the same pattern.
so slip stitch using grey colour yarn. After slip stitching, work chain 3 and in chain 1 space for 2DC. After completing the 2DC again, chain 1, skip 3 chains below and into the next chain 1 space work 3DC. Like the previous row, continue the same pattern. Now we are in the end of the round 19. Here I am going to stop my project and going to walk a slip stitch. After slip stitching I am going to walk a single crochet round. So for the round 20 chain 1. Work 1 single crochet into the same chain space. After working the single crochet, place marker in top of the single crochet. And into the next 79 stitches we are going to work one single crochet. So work one single crochet in top of 3 DC and in chain space. Now we are in the end of the round 20, remove marker and slip stitch. After slip stitching, work chain 1 and cut the extra yarn, weave in all the extra yarns. For handle, select 4 chains from the corner and place marker. Make a slip knot and insert the yarn through the first chain. And work chain 1 and 1 single crochet into the same chain space. Now work 1 single crochet into the next 3 stitches. For the row 2 we are going to work a chain 3, turn the project and skip the very first chain and work 1 DC into the back loop of next 3 stitches. For the row 3, we are going to make a chain 3 and skip the very first chain 
and into the next 3 stitches we are going to work 1 DC in back loop. Continue the same pattern for your desert length. Now we have completed working our strap. Now we can join in the next corner. So select 4 chains in the next corner. Remove the first marker and pull the loop through the chain. Now work chain 1 and one single crochet in the same chain space. And now work one single crochet into the next three stitches. After completing the single crochet, chain 1, cut the yarn and weave in all the extra yarns. Mark the center for placing the loop. Make slip knot and insert through the chain and work chain 20 and skip one chain into the next chain. Make a slip stitch. Again chain 1, cut the extra yarn, we Attach the button using a sewing needle. Now we have completed our project. 
so friends i hope you really enjoy my video and if you are new to my channel please subscribe and click the bell icon so that you get notified thanks for watching